Welcome back. We're here now with head coach Keith Boucher. Coach, Valerie Lexi was just telling me about how important this game was for you today. She just said that you wanted to come in here and beat Plymouth. What are some things today that made you proud of how your women played today? How, how hard they competed. You know, at, at the end of the day, you can't disguise effort. It's either, you know, it's either great effort or it's no effort. It's either positive or negative, and I, I can't say enough about how hard they played tonight. They played through things in the beginning of the second half. They shortened it up. They, they, I don't know, if we, were we up by a point or two points? I don't know what it was, but the, the way they played defense tonight, they busted their butts, and they deserved that win. And we, again, we made free throws when we needed to. We made some key buckets, but there wasn't one player that played tonight that didn't contribute in some way, and that, you don't get that very often. I and mean, obviously we have low numbers. And Jackie went down, and you know what? They just said, okay, we got to deal with it. You know, the facts are the facts. And uh, the bye couldn't come better for us because we don't play on Saturday. So that's a, that's huge. But I can't say enough about how hard they played. You know, as, at the end of the day as a coach, when you come off the floor and you know that they played together, they played for each other, all right, and they played as hard as they possibly could. Whatever the outcome is, you're a champion, and they were tonight, definitely. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And you mentioned some of uh, the way they played defense tonight. How important was it to have active lanes in the passing lanes, whether it be Ratiola against Crompton or, you know, Avery Stewart or mm. Sam Lee? Yeah. And all oh, you mentioned those three. I, I think everybody at one time, that's a good point, but anybody at one time or another did that. And I, you know, I thought, I, I know once Sam was standing there with a hand straight up in the air and the kid put it into a hand. You know, referees aren't perfect. <laughs> I understand that. Hey, we were talking about that play. <laughs> yeah, uh, you should have been. You know, and that, uh, that's critical in a closer game. You know, I, I just, as a unit, I mean, we can't scrimmage. I think I've said this before. We don't have enough bodies to scrimmage. So our scrimmages are our games. So execution sometimes doesn't look good. But once we get into the flow of the game, they get a feel for the game, and then we start executing a little. We passed the ball once. I think Avery ended up with a three-pointer at the top of the arc. In the pass went, we, we threw three passes around the horn, back to the top, and Avery stuck it. That was a big hoop. And that was a great ball movement, and they just, they're just they, they get confidence from each other now. They're feeling confident playing with each other, and that's fun to watch. We may not, you know, we could get beat some night, but it's not because we're not going to compete. And that's the most important thing. Exactly. And great win, Coach. And thank, you. thank you again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep. All right. Pay attention. Welcome to Fandom 101. We'll cover the tools of the trade from foam fingers in the wave to the super secret wave. How's that for a course description? Lesson one. Your game starts long before the opening whistle, so arrive prepared. Two. If something piques your interest, raise your hand. And three, work in groups. NCAA championships, attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Get your seats today at NCAA. And that's gonna do it for today's matchup. With the final score of 61 to 51 in favor of Keene State. It was a nail biter today, folks. And the next time the Owls do play here is January 31st, but be sure to stick around with us for the next game where the men's team will take on Plymouth at 7.30. I'm your host, Andrew Blake, joined here by Logan Bronco. Have a good night. Over to Lutzi. Lutzi finds Stewart. Pillsbury looking to pass it. Finds Sullivan. Sullivan down low to Lee. Lee in the corner. Stewart back up. Great ball movement. Lutzi puts it in again. That's great ball movement. Excellent ball movement from Keene State. Found the open shooter. And Lutzi connects with, without a doubt. You have been watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast and thank you for watching.